Matt Holliday had a 15-year career in Major League Baseball, playing from 2004 to 2018, primarily with the Colorado Rockies. A left fielder, he was one of the better hitters during his time. He amassed a slash line of 299 with a 379 on base and 510 slugging for an 889 OPS and 132 adjusted OPS during his career. He has over 2,000 hits, over 300 home runs, over 450 doubles, over 3,500 total bases, and nearly 45 war. Among all hitters to have at least 3,000 plate appearances during Holiday's career, he ranks 25th in adjusted OPS and 20th in war. If we increase the minimum threshold to 7,500 plate appearances, Holiday ranks 4th in adjusted OPS and 11th in war. Clearly one of the best players during that time. He was also solid in the postseason. Holiday ranks 20th all time in MLB history for most play appearances in the playoffs in which he slashed 245 with a 303 on base and 421 slugging for a 724 OPS. He was the 2007 National League Championship Series MVP and won a World Series in 2011. However, in the middle of his incredible career, Holiday committed one of the costliest errors in playoff history. An error that has often been forgotten about. It didn't come as a Rocky, however, it came when he was a member of the St. Louis Cardinals. October 8, 2009, Game 2 of the National League Division Series. The St. Louis Cardinals are in Los Angeles to face the Dodgers. It's important to know these two teams were nothing like each other. The Cardinals had won the World Series just three seasons prior and this was their seventh trip to the postseason in the past 10 seasons. They were consistently good. This was the Dodgers fourth playoff appearance in the past six seasons yet they failed to advance to the World Series in each of those previous three seasons. It was over 20 years since their last World Series appearance at the time while St. Louis had made it twice since 2004. If Los Angeles wanted to get over the hump, they needed to make a statement and win. They couldn't give any traction to the Cardinals. LA had won Game 1 and were two wins away from advancing to the National League Championship Series for the second consecutive season. They had the right men on the mound to try to win Game 2, young lefty Clayton Kershaw. The Cardinals in turn sent out their ace, Adam Wainwright. Maybe you've heard of either of them. With two of the greatest pitchers of their era set to face each other, we were in for a treat. A classic pitcher's duel. The scoring started in the second inning when the man of this video, Matt Holliday, homered off Kershaw to take a 1-0 lead. The Dodgers would eventually tie it in the fourth inning thanks to an Andre Ethier home run. The score remained 1-1 one one entering the seventh when the Cardinals rallied off Kershaw to take the lead. A single by Mark DeRosa and a double by Colby Rasmus made it 2-1 in favor of St. Louis and the Cardinals would knock Kershaw out of the game. That one run was the only one St. Louis could get in the 7th inning and they led 2-1 entering the bottom half. After a scoreless bomb in the 7th and scoreless top of the 8th, Adam Wainwright remained in the game to pitch the bomb of the 8th. After two quick outs, a single hit by pitch and walk loaded the bases for Matt Kemp. Tony La Russa opted to keep his ace in the game and Wainwright came through getting Kemp to ground out. St. Louis was now 3 outs away from tying the series. After a scoreless top of the ninth, Trevor Miller came in from the bullpen to face Andre Ethier and got him to pop out. Cardinals closer Ryan Franklin immediately replaced him to face slugger Manny Ramirez. Franklin was incredible that season. The starter turned reliever had perhaps the best season of his career. He recorded 38 saves with a 1.92 ERA and 214 adjusted ERA across 68 innings pitched. At 36 years old, this was Franklin's first and possibly last playoff appearance of his career. If he won a World Series ring, he had to buckle down and get the final two outs. His first assignment was to face one of the greatest sluggers in MLB history as the tying run. Franklin won this battle and got Manny Ramirez to fly out to center field. St. Louis was one out away from a much needed victory. The last hope for Los Angeles was light hitting first baseman James Loney. Entering this at bat, Loney was a mere 1 for 7 in his career against Franklin with that one hit being a single. This is where we see Matt Holliday's error. Down to his last strike, Loney lofted a fastball out to left field. Holliday came in on the ball but misplayed it and dropped it allowing Loney to reach second base. What should have been an easy line out turned into an error. 
As Holiday ran in, he hesitated at the last second and changed the angle of his glove to make the catch. This miscue allowed the ball to fall and bounce away from him. Holiday wasn't a terrific fielder, totaling negative 13.2 D-War in his career, but this routine fly ball shouldn't have turned into an error. Holiday could have either caught it or let it bounce for a single, but his error that put the tying run in scoring position was the worst case possible. Instead of the game being over, the Dodgers have life. So, how did the rest of the game turn out? Juan Pierre came in the pinch run for Loney and at the plate, Casey Blake. On a 1-1 count, Blake tried to check his swing on a pitch outside that was called a swing even though it was pretty close, but regardless, Franklin was again one strike away from winning for the second straight batter. Blake eventually worked the count full, fouled off two straight pitches, and on the eighth pitch of the at-bat, drew ball four to walk. Winning run now on first base. At bat now, Ronnie Belliard. Belliard took a first pitch curveball back up the middle for a base hit, driving in Pierre to tie the game. Blake stopped at second base and stood there as the winning run for the next batter, Russell Martin. Martin would draw a walk to load the bases, and Mark Loretta came up the pinch hit for the pitcher. Loretta hit a single back up the middle to drive in the winning run, putting LA up two games to none in the LDS. Both runs scored in the ninth were unearned, all thanks to Holiday's error. The Dodgers would go on to sweep the Cardinals to advance to the league championship series. Is Holiday to blame for the Cardinals losing this game? Arguably, yes. Sure, Franklin imploded following that error, but that implosion doesn't happen if the ball hit by Loney was caught in the first place. Is Holiday to blame for the Cardinals losing the NLDS? Not at all. St. Louis's bats were ice cold all series, only averaging two runs scored per game. Holiday's big home run earlier in the game was part of the reason the Cardinals had a lead in the ninth inning to begin with. Alas, that home run has long been forgotten about in place of that drop line drive. Had Holiday caught the routine line out, perhaps the series would have ended up differently and the Cardinals could have won it instead of the Dodgers. Who knows what the outcome not only of this series, but the World Series in general could have been if not for this error. The slightest hesitation on how to catch the ball had the biggest consequences.